you ever wondered that a certain part of your life was boring? Or perhaps every part of it. The waking moments merging with the sleeping moments as time runs by insensitive of your desires. Not the information minister declaring war on a social media platform. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> is everything okay, boss? When is anything ever? Is that a hint of pessimism, my sons? Call it whatever you will. What will will always triumph over what should be. Um, I'm not sure that makes sense, but okay. Are you going to stand there wearing that judgmental face or are you going to tell me my first client is today? At all 800 hours, you're going to have your beats over for an hour. And after that, you'll be having Miss Aviola at 9.30. You should bring that to your rap at 10.30. I took the liberty of giving you a break to your before your appointment. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Did I mention that I was a therapist? I've been in this profession for five years now. I know. You're probably asking, aren't you a little too young? Well, a wise man once said, if you are good at something, never do it for free. And I dare say that I am very good at what I do. What can I say? I also needed the money at the time. Times were hard and this country was taking a swing at most of us. It had one at that. It had always been that way for as long Hello. as I could remember. Hello? Yeah. Welcome back. I didn't go anywhere. Oh, of course you didn't. Where were we? Where are you going? To my office, of course. Where else? The rest of the schedule is on your table. You can read, can't you? What? I am your boss. And you should respect me. Yeah, whatever. You're probably wondering why she's acting that way. Well, now I think we'll see finish with that. We go way back. 
See, we used to date back in our service here. We thought it would eventually become a forever after thing. <laughs> oh, we were so wrong. It turns out Disney wasn't telling the old truth about love. Sure, tales of first kisses, balls, and fairies seemed real when we fell in love. And trust me, we fell hard without the parachute. But our story turned out to be that of Umpty Dumpty's instead of Cinderella's. Yes. Okay, send him in. You could have said boss. <sighs> Anxiety always seems to get the better of me when I have clients over. My saving grace was that it vanished immediately I started working. Let's just say I didn't quite brace properly for what was to happen next. Mr. Man, are you going to attend to us or should we be going? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. The problem is that you should answer us fast though. Time is money. And I'm supposed to be at my store now, not at this small judiciary you've got here. It's a therapy session, not a judiciary. Is it not that he wants to judge us? Judge? Yes. Where did you get that from? Who oh, I see. And what is that supposed to mean? Therapy session or court session? It is tomato, tomato. No difference at all. Okay, okay. Let's move on. So I don't have to pee you both off each other, right? <laughs> Okay, um, we'll proceed. <laughs> um, you have been married for 20 years. <laughs> Are you asking or telling that? Which one now? <laughs> Mr. Obi, hmm? your wife has quite a lot of complaints. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it won't be the first time. But tell me, what does she have to say again this time around? She has quite a lot to say. But I'll focus on the issues at hand. I can't wait to hear them. Let him talk now. Is he complaining? Okay, Mr. Obi. What do you think is the problem? But I don't know. But that of fact, she has been easily me since the beginning of last month. Incessantly. I come back from work and without any warning, she spring up this therapy session that we have to come here. So here we are, Mr. Therapist, as clueless as you are. What? Okay, Mrs. Obi, we would love to know your side of the story, so please tell us. Thank you, Mr. James. Have you ever felt neglected, treated like a trash, unappreciated? Well, that about sums up everything. This man here is guilty of all these things. Well, well, well. <laughs> Drama queen. <laughs> My lord, may I? Shakespeare will be proud with this your heart. Do you see what I mean? Can you see him? When I start to explain myself, he throws me off like I do not deserve to be heard. Is it fair? I am your wife. I am not a maid you can ignore. I don't know who said a woman's place belongs in the kitchen. Nor me, nor me, Ogechi. I mean. When have I ever treated you like a maid? This is the problem I have with you. Any mis little misunderstanding, you blame it on this gender war propaganda. Eh? Okay, you won't gender propaganda. Aye? All I said is you aren't treating me right. Simple. Mr. James, look at the clothes she's wearing now. She unpicked them herself all the way from Dubai, and I'm not taking care of you. Our children attend the best of schools, and I'm not taking care of you. Since I placed that 24 karat gold ring on your finger, Ogechi, have you ever had bed for food before? Eh? And I don't treat you right. I don't know. I have always provided for her. Everything. So please, help me ask her. I don't know what she wants. That's not it. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't... I said know. that's not it. Okay, so Mrs. What, what then is the problem? Our main clueless. He doesn't listen to me. All he does is talk about what he has done, his achievements, and his exploits. He somehow avoids what matters the most. And um, what might that be? Me! What? Yes. You do everything that is required of you. You pay the bills, put food on the table. But yet, you do not create time for me. Wait, isn't that my duty as a man of the house? To provide and to protect. You have been doing all that. And I appreciate it. But yet, you keep ignoring me. How? How now? Nah? Don't we live in the same house? You still don't understand. 
Yes, so I don't understand. And please make me understand. I have a shipment that will soon arrive now. And if you are delayed the longer, they will charge me more for it. So be fast with what you have to say. You are doing it again. Business, mm. this business, that. When was the last time you took care of my business? So you are jealous of my business? Hmm? My love, you should have told me since. You won't have listened. We are hardly at home in the first place. All I'm asking is that you create time for me. I miss those days when we went on dates, played video games, watch movies late into the night. Can't we at least have that part of our lives? We had fun. All right, my dear. I hear you loud and clear there. I'm sorry for the little drama. I'm sorry for the little drama. <clears throat> well, that settles that. Mr. and Mrs. Obi, uh, it would seem that you both have a little problem with communication. And um, one in three um, have the same problem, and two in five overcome it. So, um, congratulations, I know that. Thank you. And I hope that you both keep this up. Thank you, my brother. Oh, is your brother now? Shush, don't jinx it. Thank you so much. We would like to be on our way now. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, sir. Uh, hey, don't forget to settle the, the bill. Which bill? Why aren't you the one that set up this meeting? Why aren't you the one that pays the bill? Oh, I see. I'll get you back. Uh, Mr. James, but tell me you are talking to that. Oh, no, 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 sir. The, the sec my secretary will attend to you, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. Thank now that's one down. Thankfully, I didn't have to do much. And now we can rest easy. So I had an amazing dream. I wish you a great day. I'm glad we had this talk. Oh, my bad. Good morning. I had a lot of my Of course you did. You always do. Perhaps you should see a therapist. Oh, I almost forgot. A therapist. The first client is in 30 minutes. Is she get ready? The welcome. She really is so what do you want, John? To relax. You think there's no way to talk to yourself? I don't need you, John. Get lost. <laughs> that's a lot of damaged people. Oh, yeah? Don't you remind me of someone? Yeah! He's your therapist! Get out, John! I leave my dog. I'm just to come with him. <coughs> Mother! Good luck with that. Have you forgotten it was you? Who shush that? Shut up, John! And if I don't? Shut up. Shut up! Why are you talking to? Uh, no one, no one, no one. What do you want, please? I hope you're done with whatever. Your first client is here. Alright, thank you. Relax. For real, bro. It's a plan of thinking of your secretary. I mean, get out, John. Get out, John. Get out. Do you know what it feels like to ask for something arbitrarily and end up getting it? Let's say my prayers were answered, but not the way I expected. Alright, Mr. Ajay. I brought my daughter here to see you. Okay. Sure you can not go see me, or should I start the manners back into you? Mm. Like you're mad. Great work! Mommy, hate me now! 
No, that was not necessary. It's all right. Who do you skip? Oh, well, he will have to skip training until his leg is healed. It's just a hairline fracture, so it shouldn't take too long. How long? Uh, let's say two weeks, give or take. Two weeks? That's right. Did you know that it's in one week? How is he going to make the result of training? Uh, well, it's either that or he never plays football again. I'm sorry. Stupid boy! That is one best stop more than that. Oh, that was a history. It's alright. Police game. Okay. I'll, I'll take it from you. What seems to be the problem? Ask her. Every little thing, I am depressed. Come and go to school, I am depressed. Come and eat, I am depressed. How is that she close? She caused a scene in church last Sunday. What has my husband and I not said? She just out bent on causing us problem. I didn't have for a problem child do. Talk to her or else I'll wound that. Okay, I'll sort this out. Could you please give me space? Sorry. No, no. I have to hear what she has to say for herself. I understand. I, I just don't understand. But she needs a space where she can talk without being afraid of any smart things. So please, can you just wait for us to talk? Okay. Better cooperate. You know she's pretending, right? I didn't have to open that. My name is Rebecca, with AK. Alright, Miss Rebecca, with AK. Tell me about yourself. My God, that is not necessary. He deserves it. No, he does not. It's all your fault. Hurt you at home. Look, son, if that's the case, I can always call a social network as well. Is that okay? Just hold on, let me do that. What are you still doing here? I'm afraid I'll have to hand him over to the authorities, sir. What did you say? I'll have to, what? This case. <laughs> Sir, this is against the law. Oh, is it? Yes. Or should I show you something that is that is truly against the law? <laughs> you are very lucky. Go to the car. This is wrong. You can't treat him like that, he's your son. Oh, yes. It's because he's my son. That's why I treat him like that. To make him strong and independent. No! In fact, look at it as a cautionary measure. That is what you don't get right. Young man, no, no, no other man will be able to beat my son. He will grow up traumatized and weak. Ah, on the contrary, he's going to grow up strong. Just like his father and his that, grandfather. That is what you think. You're filled with the ideologies of your father and then you're blinded by your own pride and ego. Doctor, what do you say? Yes, you're a small child that grew up to be the manifestation of his father. Tear down the facade and all you see is a scrawny boy crying for his mother in the corner of his room. I want to know your secret, Doctor. And what is that? I never like people with smart muscle computations. Well, that's because you prefer to solve problems with your fists and not your head. Real men solve problems by thinking through them, not by punching through them. So what? What is that? I See? Effective. And then that was when I said to you, let's go to the cinema. I was hesitant at first, but then I can resist the strong, you know? I see. Isn't that the young man that turned you down during the last holiday? I bet majority of the story made up. 
Pierre was the one. I was so depressed. He nearly died. Oh. Oh. Wait. Why do you feel? Why does it seem like you don't believe me? Do you know many people I talk to? In my line of work, you're going to hear a lot of lies. And filtering the lies from the truth is not part of the job description. But trust me, it's a major part of the job. So, Miss Rebecca with AK, think twice before you lie to a child. One more thing. Do you know how insensitive you are by pretending to be depressed? You're making a mockery of the mental health community by pretending and frankly people don't pay attention to them anymore because people like you are out there making a fool of their status. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be apologizing to me. Because what's the point if you will still live here and go out there and do the same thing? So Miss Rebecca with AK, you have to understand that the world does not revolve around you. And if you want to be heard so bad, why not do something worthwhile? Or become someone worth listening to? Rather than pretending to be depressed and, and expecting people to, to, to attend to your needs. Depression is not a fad or a trend that you can also upon. It's a serious issue that if left unchecked can cost lives. Do you understand? Take for instance, you are sick and you are taken to the hospital and the doctor refused to treat you because a supposed patient earlier lied about being sick. How would you feel? I'm fairly treated. That's an for you. You took the words right out of my mouth. And that's how they feel too. And they don't have a lot of emotions to spare. Miss Rebecca with EK. Yes, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm only doing my job, my lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Come in. I don't Mr. Therapist. Ah, yes. Uh, take your time, ma'am. At least Mr. James. And yes, ma'am. I hope you've talked some senses into her. Yes, and I don't have that patience. So any misbehaving, I'll introduce her to the therapist on my palm. There's no need for that, ma'am. I don't remember what you talked about. Great. So go and do better. And I know that the world can't wait to see where you become. Also, remember that if you're in a place where we don't see you, it just means that you're in the wrong place. So stop seeking people's validation and start doing the thing that you should do. Do you understand? Also, remember that put yourself in people's shoes first. Good. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Yo. Do you Just yes, it's that Yes. The kids are in the story is believing in yourself. And yes, I believe in her. Please. And how we are found out with back then we had someone to believe in us. Are you right? Maybe you will not be so messed up, John. Agreed. Whoa, don't sneak up on people like that. Chill. Uh -huh. Have the out there. Yes, can I take this care? What do you want, please? Here's a report on your clients for last month's like your best oh, Hold on, what do you mean by I was not paying attention, please? Are you really asking me that? You're always lost in yourself. Shut up, Shut up. You see, this is what I mean. You're always... What are you always thinking about? Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Have it your way. We may, right? Just can't understand them. On the contrary, John, I think she doesn't understand us. And whose fault is that? It's your fault, John. You get it, Mr. Therapist. One point for it. What are you saying? <sighs> <laughs> you don't get it. Forget about it. Sometimes I find it very hard to understand you, John. Man. Know thyself. You don't think I have to say it. If you can't comprehend the very core 
that makes you you. How do they tell people about themselves? I can't believe I'm getting scolded by you, John. Of all people. I wish Martha were here. She always, knows, she always knows what to do. You're about to start the war. I mean, who needs Martha? You have me, you have everything you need. You have everything. Unfortunately, all you do is make me feel miserable, John. Martha would never do that. Those ideals make us who we are today. Strong and independent. No. Martha set me on this part. This, all of this Martha's doing. Don't you remember? All you want is revenge, John. Yes, I acknowledge you, your, your support and your presence. But, but you want to live by his ideals. His ideals are nothing but grudges that, that, that support our own personality. His ideas will got rid of them. His ideas will leave the shadow, John. Look at you. Talking. Talking. That you can achieve with three words. Face it, Mr. Therapist. Even you don't believe that. I'll be honest with you, Pastor. I have told you. I am. No. Where are you, John? Where are you? Careful, Mr. Therapist. The only love is a gift. My people are mad. Besides, you are no match for me. You know, like mother, you got this emotion. What are you talking about? That's a lie. You pushed that away, you did. Yeah, think. You pushed that away. You push away everyone who comes close to you. That's a lie. It's your friends. That's not true. You are doing it right now. Shut up, John! Of course, you can deny it all you want. It doesn't make it any less true. Face it! No. You have the problem so badly you want to discard. So, make it easy on everyone. Take out the job. There's no fool thing. He was right. You are weak. You are so weak. Let me in. I will show you what true strength is. Let me in. Let me in. I'm taking my leave now. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm with you, you're done. No, no, no. That, that's not true. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Everyone, pick the trash out. Get lost, John. I hope my thoughts are not you. Everything that you have touched have been cursed. 
You are a bloody waste of space. Look at those hands of yours. Yes. Look at your hands. Yes, look at it. That hand. That blood on your hands. Wife killer. Yes. Whenever you get close to someone, they will suffer. Just like when you made your mother suffer. You will never find love. Look at me. He said, look at me. You will never find love. And even when love finds you, you will kill it. You will kill it. Useless boy. Look at those hands, bloody hands. You would never know redemption. I would never know redemption. Yes, redemption would never be yours. It would never be yours. Wife killer. Mother killer. Bloody waste of space. <laughs> Love. What is love? I find myself questioning on several occasions. Was it a state of being or a gift given? Or was it Nollywood's depiction of a village love between a prince and a commoner? Whatever it was, I found out what it wasn't. Dear Dad made sure of it. Aren't you? Oh, you have your serious face on. Yeah, he was about my dad. That's the only face that I can keep on. Fine, fine, enough of that. Let's not ruin the mood. Wait. What mood? You've always been very unobservant. Either that or you're just. Wait. What? I'm sorry, I know you should stuff like this, this, this. I know, right? It's pretty obvious. Uh, how do you mean? Come on. We've been dating for how long now? Two years? Well, two years, five months, and probably 11 days. And I'm the unobservant one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shut up. Ouch. You should have calculated the ass too. Big. Uh, anyway, you know that I had to figure out. Serious news. You can't talk to me, you know. Hmm? No, you can't talk to me. Listen, I know you have a lot of problems going on. I know it can be very difficult dealing with everything at once. Sure, trust me, I know. Because I, together with 7 billion people, have problems too. But the only difference between me and you is that I choose not to let it interfere with my living. Sure. I have problems, but you don't see me moping about it, do you? You need to start acting. All you've been doing is reacting. Jay, when will you stop existing and start living? When? Well, I never thought about it like that. I never did. How could you have? All you'll be doing is recoiling into yourself. I'm sorry. Don't touch me. I'm sorry, for real, I mean it. I'm really sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm serious. How old is that? Huh? Wait. <laughs> Are you very sure? Oh, good. 
but seriously, you have to trust other people's little problems to get some of your sodas, else it will crush you. Okay, boss. Come on, I'm serious. I'm serious too now. Ah. Promise. Yeah, that's a promise for real. Sure. Hmm. Is that why you will not kiss me? Wait, if you want me to kiss you, just say it. <laughs> there you go again. Don't be dodging questions up and down. Why mm -hmm. is it funny in answering streets? <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck to the floor. I weed myself to move, but my body would not answer. Fear was my father's greatest tool. Right then, its power glued me to the spot. I wanted to move, do something, yell even, but I must have seemed like a deer entranced by headlights. One thing got me through, the look on her face. She looked up at me as if questioning. The emotions on her face were of pain mixed with surprise and frustration. Frustration that I was simply reacting and not acting. At that point, I decided to move. Perhaps, perhaps not. But we'll see. So what are you going to do about it? Or are you going to just let her die? Like your mother? No! Keep my mother's name out of your mouth! That's it, boy! Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Immediately, I launched for the man I was called father. I erased every rational thought, every calculation of probability. I erased all because I didn't want them getting in the way of my rage. For it seemed pure and justified. For the first time in my life, I was acting. The one whom I learned that lesson from was the one that I needed to protect. She hung like a rag doll in my father's bear like grip. I remember thinking, hold on, I'll save you. I'll carry my promises. I'm acting this time. I'll be leaving now. All right. Um, I have a lovely trip. I thank you for today. It's my job, Sidney. Thank you. Bye. Is anything the matter? Oh, um, I was wondering if you would like to have dinner. I know it's unplanned and all, but what do you think? I'm sorry, but I have to decline. Come on, it's just a quick bite. I'm sorry, but I can't go. It's fine. You're so stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Don't bother. Don't bring me this psychiatric crap. I mean, look. You may this psychiatric crap. Come on, I didn't make her cry. She's just upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same difference. I mean, why do you even want to go though? I mean, we have had a lovely time. I mean, we could have. She would have invited us over, had night cap, possibly even have sex. Uh, you are no fun. I mean, you are no fun, Mr. Therapy. Drop it, John. Ah! Not you, please. Please don't 
There was a plus side to getting beat up by my father all those years ago. I could endure pain and I could also cause it. I'm sorry, I was kidding. I'm joking. I was not joking. Oh. What? It's just a kid. If you move, I'll call the police. Yes, sir. Oh. Are you fine? Uh -huh. What are you going to do with him? Maybe it's called police. Uh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Why? This, 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 this juvenile almost caught my throat. It's just a kid. He deserves to be in a cell. Listen, if we both know that the police has taught more from us than damn, this boy could have taken it more successful. I know, I know, I know, right? It's the country. It's just... No way, I'll have to do this. I'll have to do this. You. Yes. You sure you see, boy? You think you can beat your father? <clears throat> what did you think? Oh, I thought you could play the hero. Sorry to disappoint. Heroes do not exist. Well, let me give you a candid advice. Heroism is only employed by the weak. By the destitute. Only looking for points on which and to enter back into society that they've quietly destroyed. No. Just look at it like wrestling. The rest is only there for the other to look good. And at the point in time, you switch roles. Very, very, very wrong. You're wrong. Can't you enlighten me? Heroes exist, and villains exist. Not in the way that you think. That's why you always get your first punch start like a little child. Leave me alone. That's just what. An egoistic man like you think. An egoistic man with a kid man mentality. You think man is by strength in you. No, but then you are seeking inside and weak. Your meditation sickens me. And yours is pure trash. It's trash. But you are weak on the inside. And then you are on the ground. Like a child! You couldn't even save your home! Look at me! Are you kid? Oh, are you right? Are you right? Baby so young, feel so easy. This is what I've been trying to avoid all these years. You can see it by yourself now. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh. Oh. Look, you're stronger. I will have helped you. I will have, have assisted you. Then get stronger! What do you even mean? Get stronger! Heroes are reborn, they are made. Not in a year or two, but in decades. Ah, ah. I won't even say that. That's what you mean to say. Do you see what you are doing? Pop your dad is right. You are weak. Ah. <laughs> see, you doubt the very ideas that you preach. What makes a man stronger is that he believes that he is full. Get stronger. Believe in yourself. And remember that you don't always have to fight alone. Oh. See, strength is companionship. I'm not trying to insult you, but you lack strength. James, you lack strength. Oh. Wait, at least let me let, let me walk you. At no, least. thank you. You've done Wait. enough. Are you upset with me? Oh. Very terrible at taking it. See, James, I like you, but you Thank see, you have to get your life together, please. But I need you. I need Did you, you see say your dad... something about companionship. Did you see how your dad beat us like a bunch of kindergarten kids? 
Oh God, guy, you, you you need to get yourself together, please. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is this a goodbye? See, James, it depends on you. because you want to fit in amongst your friends, right? Basically, I mean, once you broke out some spy with kids, it's embarrassing, you know. See, I've been, I was born with a silver spoon. I've been doing all of this thing I'm doing. <laughs> so, wait, 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 wait. you can speak proper English and you were talking like you dropped out of nursery school. It's all acting. Who's going to take me serious if I had enough of the truth speaking the Queen's English? Okay, I see. So wait, 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 wait. What you're saying now is that you're ashamed of who you are, right? Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't lie to you. I'm ashamed. See, let me tell you, I can't even get sent outfit for outings. I can't go out with friends. I can't go to church. Talk less of school fees. It's frustrating. Uh. How old are you? I'm 25. Boy, you know I talk to people for a living, right? And that means I can tell when someone is lying to me. So I ask you again, how old are you? I'm 18 years old, actually. 18. You are 18 years. <laughs> and you are going about robbing people. See, in my defense, the first person I've tried to see from. <laughs> potato, potato. Where are your parents? I mean, you do have parents, right? Yes, I do, but you're not going to call them, I mean. <sighs> I am inclined to call them. No, please. That would be nice. You don't have to call them anybody at all. Most of none of your business. <laughs> it's not my business. Have you heard the saying that it takes a village to raise a child? Besides, you made it my business the moment you walked through that door and decided to rob me. I should be calling the police. No, 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 please. Don't call them anybody else. Please, don't call them anybody else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. It's alright. I'm not calling them or anybody. Besides, I don't trust them to do their jobs. And setting people on fire is humane and barbaric. And... Frankly, I think it's a far worse state than theft. Oh, you are not of the hook yet. I told you everything, I told okay, you everything. Yeah. What else do you want? It's I, getting late. I should uh, call the police then. No, I was kidding. Calm, I was kidding. But in most serious note, do you think being a criminal is cool? Does it make you a don or a boss or whatever you kids call it this day? Do you think being a criminal is cool? I mean, yes, you get to drive expensive cars and eat at luxury um, restaurants whose meal cost more than people's salary. But at the end of the day, at what at what expense? You can do better. See, who does not want to live a luxurious life? And mm -hmm. eh? who does not want to like live a luxurious life? Like, who does it dream of becoming bigger and better? It's something now. Hello? Hello? She's deliberately ignoring me, isn't she? I mean, I love her, right? Get lost, John. I'm not talking to you. Okay, boss. Listen to me. Your government didn't pay money ever little for you to come here and listen to me. 
I'm not a kid. Besides, I heard the therapy is a very good place to listen to music. What are you <laughs> I see. Uh, you are being sarcastic. All right, Grace. Can I call you Grace? Why do you think you're here? I don't even want to be here. Let me rephrase. Why are you here? I don't know. You're the therapist. You tell me. I see what you're doing. Okay. I need to go now. I'm sorry, you can't go because you just got here. Can I have my earpiece back? I'm afraid I can't do that, you know. Are you seriously going to hold me against my will? On the contrary, your guardians signed a form mandating you to be here until the end of this session. So please <sighs> stay. <laughs> Good. All right, guys. Tell me about yourself. Are you not going to say anything? This sight compels me to talk. Does it? Okay. I see you're playing out to get here. Okay. Grace Enshaw, born to parents Senator Uba and Tina Enshaw. Born on the 16th of March, 1996. Had your secondary and tertiary education abroad. As the history of running away from home and indulging in unorthodox practices. Substance, abuse, stops the list. Drugs or drinking? All right. Grace, tell me about yourself. I see what you're trying to do. And trust me, it's not going to work. What am I trying to do? Okay. Alright. Do you want me to take a look at this? Because I'm pretty good at guesses. Okay, yeah, we go. You are a spoiled rich kid. That's not very hard for you to figure out. Considering my background and the status of my parents. Like all our sports rich kids. You didn't have everything that you wanted. Duh, I did. I had it all. From the latest phones, iPhones please, not Androids. To the most expensive clothes. I visited Canada and the UK every holiday. Kids wanted to be me. I'm sure if they knew I felt it down, they would not be. What do you mean? What are you talking about this? Why did you run away from all those things? Oh, well, those being adventures, that's all. Come on, Grace. Talk to me. What were you looking for? I already told you. I don't know. I was just being adventurous. The truth, Grace. Say it. I already did. Say it, Grace. I did. I don't know. I did. The truth, say it. Say it. I did. Grace, tell me the truth. I just. I just wanted to be seen. I needed to be heard. I hated my parents because. They treated me like another asset. I hated their job because it took them away from me. I hated my mates. They never understood me. My teachers never saw me. All they saw was the senator's daughter and nothing more. Like you said earlier, I'm just a sports rich kid. She's your day now. What? How do you feel saying all these things you just said? Sad and angry, but way better than I felt in years. Sometimes digging into the past can be scary. And we try to run away from it and think that we are successful doing that. But you see, the thing about the past is that it's like a shadow. It's tied to you. And if you don't confront it, it doesn't go away. And if you don't confront it, 
it will affect your present and ultimately your future. Sometimes the past may laugh at us, but we have to face it regardless. Grace, in this case, the way forward is backward. I must say that the way you have treated people is wrong, but you have taken the first step towards healing, which is talking about it. It's my take care of you. Where should we get there? So while life comes knocking, you square your shoulders and you say, A life has its way of being ironic and mysterious when you least expect it to be. There I was advising Grace about the past, oblivious of what was to happen next. I forgot to tell her one little detail. The past could also walk up to you. My little James, go to sleep now. <laughs> You speak your mind and it listens. That all. Go to sleep, baby, and dream of heavenly things. Go to sleep, my little James. <laughs> crazy couple of days. I did not tell you what could happen. Fair enough. Did you see her? See who, Martha? You know what I'm talking about. Frankly, I don't. Well, whatever. How you plan on forgetting something? What? Pray silly. I know she told you to do so, didn't she? Sometimes I forget that you're me. I see John has rubbed off on you. Are you sure you are not missing him already? I'm very ridiculous. Me or you? You know what I mean. Do I? Sometimes I forget how annoying you can be. Oh yeah, we can always call back John. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big. Let's be guided, I'm big. You know what, Martha? I have to be at work. We'll pick it up later. Please excuse me, Martha. Okay. Martha was right. I should have prayed. I almost didn't know how to. If mom were alive, she'd give me an earphone. That on the other hand, doesn't care much about prayers. He used to for a while. But ever since that event, he just seemed to forget the process. He questioned God all night. And when he got no answers, he took out his frustrations on me. I wonder. I wonder where he is now. What is he up to? A part of me relieved that he wasn't close by. Another part of me felt sorry for him. Men can be scared to stop trying to act tough all the time. 
It had been a week since he casually strolled into my office. I still shudder when I think back. He seemed changed but untouched by nature's aging embrace. He looked old and tired but his eyes still bore the hatred and the ill will that scared me more than his belt. That's enough of the past. Today, I go out there and feel more relieved than I ever have in years. Nothing could go wrong. Just when you think nothing can ruin your day, life clears its throat and goes to work. Life in this story is Jimmy. Jimmy is life. And life is hard like a juvenile delinquent overdosed on a cruel sense of humor. Uh -oh. Hello, come on, boss. What's going on, man? What are you doing? Boss, I'm practicing my room so it's good as a competition. Oh, shit, dancer. So you have turned my office to a dance studio, right? Boss, chill. See, it's not even that big of a mess. Yeah, I'm cleaning it. You are that much. I try. I mean, did you dial that number? What are you saying? Relax, boss. Even now you look at the phones I have on in, deciding whether you call or not now. What are you saying? Nothing, boss. See, no vest. I'm going to mop the office now. <laughs> By the way, a client came already this morning. Uh, it, uh, we're not going to get another of this from now. Yo, yeah, I told her. But she said she will wait. Okay, uh, so she's in my office now? You didn't tell me. Uh, hello? That's a grace. Oh, I'm sorry. That's alright. I'm sorry about your time. Never mind, but I needed to quiet to gather my thoughts together before our next session. I didn't meet your secretary at her desk. Is she alright? Sure, she's fine. What about you? You look amazing, by the way. That's a lie. I don't reckon it's part of the job description to lie to your clients, is it? Alright, give it to me. Why are you here this early? By the way, our session isn't until later this week. Yeah, I know. I, I need to see you. I couldn't wait anymore. Okay, alright, alright. We're here. What's the problem? Are you having issues at home? No, it's not that. It's about what we spoke about the last time. Uh, well, we spoke about a lot of things, so you have to be more specific. The part about the past. I did as you suggested. I um, I tried to face my past, so I would live in the present, as I should and all. But that's been really difficult, and I can't do it. Okay. Why do you think you can't do it? I don't know. I wake up every morning and I say to myself. This is it. I'm going to talk about it. But when I try to talk, I freeze and I change the subject. It has been really frustrating. And the emotional build up has been has not been kind at all. I've um tried to I've, I'm taking something for the frustration. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. What's what was that about taking something for the frustration? Nothing really, just a little something. Yeah, she is the biggest drug addict we have come across. Chill! It's not drugs. I swear to God, if my husband tells me to chill, I'm going to lose it. What? Yeah. Listen. Looking for a substitute will only delay the process. Life is not a game. You can't just look for shortcuts, you can't just drink your problems away. We have to man up our woman up as the cases and face them. Why does it have to be hard to do? Jimmy, I asked myself that same question over and over and over. Uh, but if it's any consolation, 
think of it as a building process with the most beautiful finish. Think about every beautiful thing in life. It always has a foundation of pain, hardship, heat, pressure, gold it is subject to immense heat. Diamond that everybody is sudden after. Man has to dig through sand and rocks and dirt just to get to it. And even humans, we are born through pain and discomfort, and we are not created for yeah. But life is also hard on the other side. You know, the life where everybody wants ease and comfort, they have their challenges too. Just that the challenges are after and not before. For instance, alcohol. People take alcohol to drown their sorrows, right? And it works for a while. But when they become sober and the sun rises, the problem is still just saying, Did you miss me? And so you see, the things that we do as a quick fix just delays the inevitable. Do you get it? Well, I get it, but. Where do I start from? From the beginning, Grace. I think you should just talk to your parents. They're always busy. If the river won't go to the tree, then the tree will send out its roots to the river. Besides, Grace, I know you to be creative, so don't stop now. You've got this. Thank you. One more thing. You see, this feeling of helplessness, of anxiety, of fear, it usually comes with the need to indulge in substance. You know, sometimes escape from life, other times suicide. But it's something that always works. What is that? Prayer. I know, I know. We sound unscientific, yeah. But trust me, it works. Okay. Um, try that. Thank you. Come on, it's my job. It's my job. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you, and it might seem a bit personal, so you're not obligated to answer. Don't. No, alright. Sure, ask me anything. I want to. Um, are you? Excuse me, boss. Um, what should I do if all those five? Are days? you blind? Can't you see I'm the client? What? Get out, Joe! I'm so sorry about that. Are you about to me something? No, nothing. I wasn't going to ask anything. So, I should get going. I need to, you know, face my past. Alright, alright. Alright then, Miss Grace. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be seeing you out. Thank you. I could have thought she was going to ask me a very interesting question. But that year, year boy has a talent of getting on my nerves. Speaking of facing one's past, mine had come to face me a few days ago. Miss Grace, thank you for coming. That will be all for today. Please don't forget what all this cost to go. Do I have everything? Yes. What do you want? Is that any way to talk to your father? Father? You relinquish the right to that title the moment you lead your hands on. What most of you foolish children don't understand is the fact that a parent will always be a parent no matter what. So you admit what you did? What are you accusing me of? It's been 10 years. And apparently all those times have not reached your filani. Why are you here? What do you mean? Like every good parent, I too am here to check on my child's welfare. Oh, shut up. Your voice irritates me. And so, what are you going to do about it? Come on, man. Come on, man. Let me hear. 
Let me show this old Kiza with boss. No, no, John. I can see you're still battling with your multiple personalities. It's good to see some things haven't changed. It is called dissociative identity disorder, and it's your fault. Yes, it is true. I have a DID. It's a mental health condition responsible for the presence of different personalities within one mind. Well, guess what? I don't care. Let's see the things I've taught you. Stop! James! Sh 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 should I call the police? Hey! Mind how you use that name. Your boyfriend's not the only one called James here. Wait a minute. Haven't you met before? I knew it. You are the girlfriend. What's that your name again? Okay. I knew something felt familiar. Ah! <laughs> what a reunion. Don't touch me! You stuck with this loser! Why don't you go for a real man like me? He's twice the man you'll ever be, and right now you're half the man he ever was. You still have that smart mouth! Ah! So what's this gonna be, boy? Aren't you going to fight me? How dare you! How dare you use that name? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Look at the boy I mean. Are you going to let this assault continue? Get in grip of yourself! Uh, I, I don't know what to do. I, I think I need matter. You need matter? What, do, what would she come and do? Seeing all this commotion in way? You need me! Hear me! I'll show this Giza who the boss is. Are you hearing yourself? A punch is coming to your face right now, and you are contemplating ideologies. I believe him now. I believe him now. You are, you are weak. So weak. You deserve everything that has been happening to you. But right now, I'm thinking back at home now. It's time we take back our honor. Symptoms of dissociative identity disorder is the memories, gaps in memories of the past. And so, because of that, I couldn't be sure if my father was right about the accusations. But I wanted to know if I truly was a murderer. How? Tell me, how did it happen? I don't know, spoil her memory by telling you anything about her. And I'm the murderer. Even what is murder, you are me. I loved her. I took care of her. She was my world. She was my world. She was my everything. And then you took her from me. You took her from me. And tell me. How did it happen? If it's 
said you want. Come and take it, but tell me how did it happen? Bro, you spoiled brat. All this asking for one thing or the other. From the moment you were born, I know you were in trouble. <laughs> Then you asked her to take you to the mall one day. This is what's done on your way back. James, I told you to stop that. But you won't listen. Ah. James, stop that. James, stop that. I will buy you everything I said I will buy you. Let's go. I'm going to tell your dad. I've been avoiding that, but it seems that that's not the solution for you. I'm going to tell your dad. Come here! years back. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not fine. Can I take some time off work? Sure, sure. I'm really sorry about today. I didn't mean for all this to happen. Stop, stop apologizing. I was here. I heard everything. It's just a would you come back to us? Of course. I just I need some time to gather my thoughts, that's all. Alright, all sure, sure. Uh, can I can I take you out for dinner sometime? Are you asking me how to do it? Uh, yes. Yeah. I give my answer soon. Soon. Where have you been, Martha? I've been calling out to you. Nope, you didn't. I'm not as forceful as John is. You do not expect me to bud into your reality. I'm a still small voice, like a stream in dry season. Not a rushing water like John is. I'm sorry. Well, that's that. John has made a mess. Let's clean up. Yeah.
The past couple of months have taught me that we are reflections of one another. When the problems are overwhelming and the pain is frustrating, it is only natural to think that you are alone. We reflect our environment, people, nature, everything. It's safe to say that the structure of the society reflects the individual and vice versa, for one cannot exist without the other. We are all separate parts of a whole. Actions give birth to reactions, and the reactions other actions, and on and on it goes. Reactions are certainly reflections of our original actions, however they turn out may seem. Our thoughts, words, expressions, and desires are all... <laughs>